Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a workflow in a typical SAP project. Okay, so we already know that there are three environments in a company development, test, and QA, and production. So we already know the concept of a client. A client is a partition within an SAP environment. You can have multiple clients and data is going to be uh, protected within a client. So if you're connected to client 1, you cannot see data sitting in client 2. So one client basically represents a company, but the same concept is used uh, to create partitions within one environment. Okay, So client is a partition within an SAP installation. So uh, typically uh, you would create three clients in a development environment, configuration sandbox and development test and you would have three clients in a test or QA box namely QA testing, training one and training two and if more training clients are required that could be created here as well and production typically contains one real client representing the actual company okay and that client would call a production okay so more than one client are created in an installation to help carry on with implementation project and that's what we're gonna see in this uh, tutorial uh, how creating multiple clients would help you carry on with your implementation project so majority of the implementation work takes place in the development box that is the first box here at least three clients are created in that box more than Client three could be created if need be. Okay, so configuration ideas and theories are tested in the sandbox client. So sandbox client is the starting point, if necessary, if consultants need to uh, uh, see or experiment a what if situation or some kind of uh, idea testing has to be done. That would take place in a sandbox. Okay, so that's your going to be your starting point if sandbox is required. Otherwise, configuration can directly takes place in the configuration box as well. Now, once you're comfortable with the configuration in your sandbox client, you repeat all your configuration settings in the configuration client. Okay, so actually this is your main starting point, configuration client, but if you need a sandbox environment just to play around, then you would start with the sandbox. Now, configuration client is also known as a transport client. Why? Because configuration is moved from here to all other SAP environments. Okay, so that's why it's also called a transport client. And the way configuration is moved is uh, if you is moved through a feature called a transport feature uh, in SAP. It's a vehicle to move configuration from one client to the other. Now, configuration client is also kept clean of any transactional data like journals and invoices, etc., or any transactional data. Why? Because it's configuration going to be copied over from here to other clients. So, tables data will be copied over, and you don't want any transactional uh, data to go to the other clients. Just the configuration uh, sits in the configuration client. Okay, it's pure of any transactional data. Now. Configuration settings are transported to the development test client. Okay, so the development team or the or the consultants they basically create their own testing within this dev box in the development test client. So this is the step number three. Configuration is moved over to this dev test client, and now you can enter transactional data and make this client dirty, but no transaction data is entered in the configuration client. Now, usually, once the configuration has been copied over using the transport vehicle, uh, you do development team would do testing in the client 103 development test client. Okay. Now, unit testing is performed here, and sometimes integration testing is also performed in this client. Now, unit test is basically testing of one module, and integration test is you test all modules together to see if they're working together or not because testing modules individually doesn't guarantee that they would work together because there are interfaces between the modules now 
after the testing if you need to make more changes in in, uh, in, in the configuration you're going to go back to the configuration client and you're going to do some adjustments and make more changes and repeat the testing if need be so this is going to be iterations going on back and forth now there will be a point when you're going to say okay our configuration looks 100 percent perfect now it's the time to move your configuration settings or transport your configuration settings to QA testing client okay that's number one client in your test box now this is where the final testing is going to be conducted before your system goes to production now UAT testing takes place as well as integration tests are done here as well now UAT stands for user acceptance testing okay so users basically sign off saying that they're happy with the system if they're not happy then you're going to go back to the configuration client make more configuration changes and transport them back to the QA and, and you're going to repeat the testing until you are happy normally integration testing takes place at the QA box uh, but optionally you can also uh, you know do the integration testing in the dev box or you can do the integration testing on both places dev box as well as in the QA box at least one QA client is created in a QA box more than one QA client could be created if necessary if there are more than one testing team testing the environment then you can do that as well and uh, now configuration settings are adjusted again if users are not happy with the system and uh, you uh, once you have done the configuration you're going to move it back again to the testing environment so again uh, table driven customization is is the key here since all the data co configuration setting is stored in the database not in the in the actual code it's very easy to go back and change the configuration and promote the configuration back to test environment it's not like custom applications where you have to rewrite the program if the testing fails and users need new features etc one or more training clients are created in the test box as well now training clients are used to train end users once they are happy with the system and you are about to promote it to production they need to be trained properly in how to use the system and if you are conducting more than one training session you can uh, create more than one training client as well now configuration settings are transported from configuration client to the training clients of course just like uh, they are transported to any other client so this is the main source of transporting configuration settings out to any other client configuration client is the main source now testing is conducted and finally configuration settings are transported to production client and this is where day-to-day -day business transactions take place now just keep this in mind sandbox and configuration client are the only two clients where access to configuration tables should be allowed okay so this is the only two clients where configuration can take place and none of the other clients should be allowed to uh, have their configuration tables changed now because configuration settings are going to be copied over or transported over from configuration client to, to everywhere else now rest of the client would simply receive configuration settings from the configuration client through transport mechanism as I have been repeating this uh, many times already in this tutorial now this is the sum and substance of your uh, of this tutorial now you start with the sandbox you play with the sandbox if you need to do some uh, experiments finally you do your test uh, configuration in the configuration client now this configuration is moved over to the dev test client where you do your own testing and if you're happy with your testing then you're going to copy configuration from configuration client over to the QA client and you do your QA testing here if you're your testing team is happy and you will users do their testing as well here if they're happy then you're going to copy the configuration from the configuration client uh, to the training and you do your training and then you copy the configuration from configuration client to the production so this is the main source now users uh, do the configuration only at sandbox and configuration client they are not allowed to touch any configurations on any other client now another thing to note that when users do their experiments and uh, uh, some testing in that sandbox they are not allowed to copy configuration over to configuration client it has the configuration has to be repeated manually in the configuration client so technically this is your starting point this is just a play area okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and I'm gonna see you in my next tutorial